check for advanced restart button it's available here i am directly booting into recovery using that if you don't have that use the volume up button and power button by pressing them simultaneously you can boot into recovery here we go it's booting into recovery the recovery link and the dedicated video already made in the channel you can check out and link for that is in the community section even the firmware whichever i use in this video as you can see this is the recovery 3.6220 twrp latest for poco x3 slash nfc once it's boot into recovery go to wipe section and select advanced wipe and select dalvi catch and data and swipe here to wipe it again after that go to home section again and select install and select the micro sd card wherever you downloaded the rom zip files go to that folder first flash the firmware always 12.5.5.0 flash it done 12.5.7.0 ignore it 12.5.8 still need time now once the firmware has been flashed go to rom zip files in this video i will go to show this the first tool latest build for boko x slash nfc i will get a little bit closer you can see such that as you can see july 5th build date latest one for poco x3 it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed you can see here the rom zip file has been flashed successfully i can go to home section and select wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button later again go to home and select reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method of derfest OS for POCO X3 slash NFC with July 5th build it. Everything will be explained in detail in this video. Stay tuned till the end of the video. And let's begin this video. Hey, welcome back again to new video. This is Sampati watching Sampat Sanfax YouTube channel. This is POCO X3 custom rom reviews platform version is 12 l 12 community shinju surya 2022 7 5 latest build available for poco x3 slash nfc 5th june 2022 is the security patch available and kernel used here is 4.14.286 silanti kernel has been used Cynic status is enforcing and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes one seconds and four milliseconds you can see here the maximum is 158 and average is 154 and minimum is 143 million gps and there is no thermal throttling has been detected very good rom this is comparing to other previous roms in this week this is very good rom in terms of performance battery life everything will be explained in detail stay tuned and uh, this is the home screen you get you can see here this is the clock widget the monitor engine customization everything is working fine if you press here you get settings this is the launcher you get you can customize icon home screen plenty of customization again app drawer also there are customization as you can see you can customize them miscellaneous you get these kind of options here you can check out and this is the quick settings panel you can see here it's simple clean enough and uh, let me turn off this scanning and there are some of the options might impressive like dark face qr code refresh rate volume panel you can directly add them here in order to use that and power button is given here now moving into settings this is the settings panel level. it's smooth enough as you can see very very smooth even the quick settings panel also very smooth in my opinion in this experience of last one two hours it's really smooth you can see and dark space here the customization available battery settings you can customize battery settings i have shown in many videos carrier label clock and date settings status bar items you can enable or disable from here traffic indicator is given in the miscellaneous settings you get dubfest logo colored icons bluetooth battery status and data disabled icon you can customize some of the things but there is no option of high fps count option enabling or disabling here in the miscellaneous settings i even checked here for example this is a notification customization you get plenty of customization here quick settings again here also plenty of customization available in this rom lock screen shortcuts lock screen ui here also you get this kind of options 
ambient display separate option is given it's working fine no problem regarding that and coming into customization here also there is an option monetizer you can use here custom color and use black theme that is very important for me i don't know about you guys and colorfulness you can see here you can increase the color of this accurate shades like that this is all the customization pulse is given you can customize them also navigation bar is also customizable general settings here also there is no option of high fps count but fortunately they have given unlimited google photo storage option to enable or disable from here it depends upon you if you want you can enable it from here then you will get unlimited google photos storage option now you can see here these all the recent apps you can see it's very smooth enough coming into app settings let me start with today safety net status it will get passed obviously as you can see you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm whatever you want to use you can use in this smartphone after flashing this dub fresh os and drm info level 1 certification you can watch all the ott applications in hd resolution and you get this kind of options here google apps and speed test i have 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mps which is quite good even with mobile data connection also i have been tested and carrier aggregation support is also there and there is no problem in echo or anything like that okay i'll go into dialer while speaking echo i forget to tell this you can see here the volume is kept high but just dial pad sounds are not available video call direct feature is available call recording option is also available it announced the other person that you were recording the call that's how it is whatsapp each and every app is working fine no problem regarding that starting with benchmark results the geekbench 5 here you get decent score the single score is 544 and multi score is 1646 and the kernel user is linux 4.14.286 ceylon t kernel this is the latest kernel available for poco x3 x3 nfc and the Darfest OS is also latest one this is a Shinju variant there is one more variant that has been not updated yet once it's released I will be going to make the review of it and you get this kind of camera application and to the benchmark results the camera application is decent enough if you want something extra you can always go with G cam ports and this is the scores 3,61,050 and 1.4 degree Celsius the temperature raise and battery drop is 2% during this testing is quite enough the scores are normal but the performance actual performance is really good I mean day to day task everything is fine I will show the gaming also the BGMI how it handles this all the app settings you get files FM radio Google Maps are also working fine no problem regarding that too phone pay Google pay you can use any other apps this is how it is and into settings into the display you get live display extra dim automatic brightness is working fine but it is in reverse direction if i see if i disable now and if i turn off the light see the effect it's get okay let me turn on okay now it's fine before it was showing adaptive brightness let me turn off again it hasn't been working that much you can see even I am turning on turning off there is a problem in automatic brightness sensor previously what I am getting was when I turn off automatic brightness it's acting as automatic brightness vice versa but now it's totally not working in this situation that is the bug I have noticed in this dark face Shinju July 5th build available that you need to keep in mind and dark theme use pitch black condition is there I already enabled that you can see that this I like really well the system everything is in pitch black condition which is really good to me customize you can see here into display setting these are the display settings you get here color I kept to boost and night light feature is there show refresh rate per app is there smooth display sorry this is show refresh rate it's now 120 and fall into 60 dynamic refresh rate option not available maybe in this room 
that's all let me enable this and show you as you can see if i go back maybe the refresh rate option okay dynamic refresh rate is there in this room and it's also working fine enough you can see here if i come back it might drop to 120 or 69 based upon your usage and coming into accessibility menu it's working fine accessibility menu is given switch access is also given you can use that all the under tall l options are included in this room coming into access built i shown this uh, wallpaper sun style you get plenty of wallpapers here you can see only the dark fest type of wallpapers not and at all style dark theme themed icons app grid system icon pack system fonts also you can change here plenty are given that's how it is everything is working fine you can see mm, sound settings you get all the basic settings here increase ring volume option is there volume steps live caption and basic things like me sound enhancer the direct sound settings is also given and enable hi-fi this will going to improve your sound experience and you need to okay if you disable the hi-fi then you can choose here that's how it is simultaneously both you can't use that you need to keep in mind this all the settings and review of this rom uh, into gestures and keys system navigation gesture navigation you get left edge right edge and sensitivity pill margin bottom where it has been gone okay pill length i can adjust pill radius also pill margin means okay you can adjust that i really like this kind of customization in any roms i wish they implement this kind of customization in any roms such that it will be better for customizing the pill what is the use of giving pill if you don't give customization or if it is not visible that's my always debate on this particular point hopefully this derfest made an excellent job in terms of this options providing in their particular rom that's how it is the automatic brightness sensor that little bit they messed up i don't know what happened maybe it's fault with me or a random bug i don't know but it is there in my as i shown in the video past that's how it is this all the settings and moving into location privacy everything is working fine digital well-being everything is fine in security options you get face lock and fingerprint unlock app lock auto reboot smart lock device admin apps encryption credentials you can see rom is encrypted by default let me show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using the fingerprint unlock even the face unlock let me show you actually the camera is facing towards me it takes like that as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using even the face unlock and fingerprint unlock this is how the dub fest voice on poco x let's say bgm and wind off this video coming to graphic settings you can see here the graphic settings is set to just smooth plus ultra only no high fps count available in this rom that's how it is let me see in the boot camp and this is the volume panel you get these are the options you get definitely you miss that high fps count in this darfest rom it will make you miss and this one you forget about that it's showing 91 20 r60 it's not correct here in this game at least how it handles maybe little bit better let's see even with 40 fps if i can be able to get played or not let's check this into the boot camp the volume is also fine enough not too loud but it's fine but majority of the people use headphones to use these games let me know in the comment section guys and by the way if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like guys many people watching my videos but not subscribing have a subscribe guys oh no i landed here Okay, I got good gun at least. 
landing was not that good but at least i got a good gun i'll adjust the volume here where the volume panel is now i don't know why the volume panel was left like that now it's fine Someone is hitting me. Okay, I'll come back. This is how the BGM is, game settings and gameplay. Unable to come back. Okay, that's fine. And show you the charging animation. People watch only half of the video and they will go. You can see here the charging animation. It is showing charging rapidly such that again it's showing charging slowly. I don't know what happened. Okay, it is showing charging rapidly and charging slowly. It's fluctuating. I don't know what's wrong in here. I have connected properly only. Check it again. That's how it is. Maybe the fast charging is supported in this ROM, but not properly supported. That's how you need to keep in mind. These are the bugs and everything regarding this Darfest Shinju OS for Poco X3. It's fine. Not bad or anything like that, but definitely it's not a great ROM but some of the options they have added i really liked it that they maintain the same and add the few other extras and make it better bugless and free from problems that's how it is and uh, coming to verdict or conclusion this is a very good rom you can definitely try it as a daily driver and if you have old versions you can update it but just keep in mind the autobatic brightness sensor is not working or it is random bug whatever it is that's how it is thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now